OK, so let's say I know that A, B and C are three points and they are collinear. So they all lie on the same line. A has coordinates 2, 5. B has coordinates 8, 1. C is four units from A. Find the two possible pairs of coordinates for C. So if we draw a diagram, then really we can visualize what's going on here. So we've got the point 2, 5. OK, so this is point A. And we've got this other point, 8, 1. So further along and down. So here's B. OK. And if I draw in the line going through these two points, OK, C lies somewhere on this line. OK, so it might be here, or it could be here. But what I do know is that that distance in each case is four units, OK? So C could be here, or C could be here. That's the idea, OK? So how am I going to go about this? Well, it makes sense to find the vector A to B, because at least then I know the direction of the line. So A, B. That vector is OB minus OA, so that is 8, 1, take away 2, 5. So we're going to have 6 minus 4. So that is the vector A to B. So AC, so the vector A to C, must be some multiple of AB, okay? because it must be going uh, in the same direction to get to C. It could be going that way, okay? in which case uh, the multiplier would be negative. However, it will still be parallel uh, no matter which direction it's going. So AC is K lots of 6 minus 4. And I don't, and the k is what I really need to find here. And I should be able to find two values of k in order to do this. So what I can do here is because uh, it's a scalar quantity, I can multiply the 6 by k and the minus 4 by k. And so write it like that instead. So what I know is that the length of AC must be 4. So the length of AC must be 4. OK, so I'm going to use that fact. So the idea would be that because AC is 6k along and 4k down, I can use Pythagoras on that. So if, for example, it's going down this way, OK, so this is presupposing that k is positive, it would be a right angle triangle where I'm going 6k along and 4k down. And so I can figure out that this would have to be 4. So that 6k squared plus 4k squared would have to be 4. Oh, sorry, squared's on the outside. It would have to be 4 squared, OK, by Pythagoras. So this gets me 36k squared plus 16k squared is equal to 16. OK, so 36 and 16 is 52. OK, so then 16 divided by 52 is 4 thirteenths. And so k is plus or minus the square root of 4 thirteenths, okay, which simplifies to plus or minus 2 root 13, 13. Okay, so I now know um, the vector for AC, okay, well, I know the k value, and I can then substitute that in to the vector AC. So let's do that. So let's give myself a little bit of space. I'm going to raise that working there. OK. 
Okay, just trying to think of what I'm probably going to need. Um, I don't think I'm going to need AB anymore. So AC, so therefore AC is going to be the vector. Uh, so it could be plus or minus, really, couldn't it, depending on the value. So plus or minus. Um, six lots of this. So that would be, well, six lots of two, so 12. Uh, root 13 over 13. And minus four lots of this. So minus eight. Uh, root 13 over 13. So that is the vector AC. So if I want to get uh, from A to C, that's my vector. Okay? So I know that the position vector of A is just 2, 5. So I can get rid of that now. So O to C, the position vector of C, will be the position vector of A. So O A, so that gets me from the origin down here, that gets me to A, and then I can add on this vector to get to that one, or I can subtract it to get to that one. So plus uh, this vector here. Okay, um, or well, it's plus minus, isn't it? Okay, so uh, if I work out that coordinate of C, then I'll have two plus the twelve over thir twelve root thirteen over thirteen. So two plus twelve lots of root thirteen divided by thirteen. So quite horrible. I'll, I'll put it and write it into three significant figures. So 5.33 and the y value will be 5. Uh, take away 8 lots of root 13 divided by 13 which is uh, 2.78 to 3 sig fig. So that's the coordinate of that one there. Okay, so let's call that C1. So C2, okay, will be 2 take away 12 root 13 over 13. So that's minus 1.33 to 3 sig fig. And I'll have 5 plus 8 root 13 over 13. Okay, the two minuses. So 5 plus 8 lots of root 13 over 13, and that gets me 7.22 to 3 sig fig. So they are the two possible coordinates of C, given that these two points are four units away from A.